what up what up welcome back to the channel i'm Moda J and we are locked in you see the thumbnail which weston will take the stand and tell when it's time to put their hand on the bible who's going to own up to all of this we know that jenny's working overtime trying to pin these double homicides on tariq she's exhausting all of her options carrie took the stand that didn't work carrie's gone lauren's talking about she doesn't want to do it lauren's missing now we have the Weston brothers. But before we break this down and see who's actually going to tell, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you want to be a part of it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button. It's the easiest thing you can do. Now, so far, we've seen Braden. He held it down. He made a few mistakes. Trace, there's no loyalty from him, not even to his family. So it looks like he could be the one that foes. So let's jump into it. Which Weston will tell? I mentioned that Jenny is working overtime. Like I said, she brought Carrie up there. Carrie said what she had to say, but Davis, he disbunked everything that she said. Now she's using Tate. When Tate gets up here, he's cooperating. He's doing everything he can. You also hear him throw his brother up under the bus saying that he told me there were two people at the murders. What this is doing is it's kind of messing up Jenny because he's helping out Tariq because Tariq took that photo from Braden. Now, at this point, Jenny really has nothing else left that she can do. She has to go after Braden. And you remember originally, Braden was the prime suspect for being the person bringing the drugs onto the campus. Jenny shows up to talk to the Weston family. We know that they're very prestigious and they have money, well respected on the campus. Now she has the recording from when Lauren had the watch on and she actually got Braden and Kane on tape together. Now, we already know the Tejadas, they're linked into a lot of things. So, Braden has a connection with Kane, but he's saying that was my first time meeting him. I'd never seen him before this. Even though he's been out doing different things, this could come and catch up with him later. Now, she starts showing them photos, and that's what we just seen, the Weston brothers in front of Ramirez's car. Now, I told you, Trace has no loyalty. So, he's saying, oh, Kane, yeah, he knows Tariq. They also bragged about it. He beat up me and my brother. He made us go sell drugs. So right now, Trace is the one that's saying, I'm going to go ahead and take the stand. Braden, he's holding it down. We know him and Tariq had their disagreements. He's been off working with Kane, doing some stuff. But this was to help out Tariq and to, you know, feel that thrill that he needed. Now, their dad is saying, you're going to take this stand and you're going to tell. Trace, he's all with it. Jenny, she's still trying to convince Braden to do it. And no matter what, even looking at these photos, having them on it, he's still saying, nah, I don't know nothing. I don't know Kane like that. He's removing himself away from everything. As of right now, Braden is sticking with the story, I don't know nothing. Trace is saying he'll do it. He doesn't care. Now, the lawyer hears this and she knows how dangerous this could potentially be. With Trace taking the stand, he could be in harm's way for snitching on somebody in the streets, such as Kane. We already seen that he beat him up and made them sell drugs. So what the lawyer does is, she says if one of them takes the stand, whether it's Braden or Trace, they both get immunity from everything. So anything they're linked to in this situation, even if the drugs come up with, they are done. They don't have nothing to do with it. They testify and they moving out of the situation. Now you have to remember the Westons, they're very powerful. So his father, he's going to sign off on all this. And I guarantee he's probably going to get this in paperwork. Everyone knows that Lauren is snitching. Kane has told Brayden that he needs to get rid of Lauren because she could tell on everything. Brayden doesn't want to do it. And he's in over his head. But when he sneaks out this night because he needs to pick up Lauren the next day to go ahead and get rid of her. Jenny is waiting outside with her car. And she's saying, look, if you can just tell me, you don't have to say anything on Tariq. But if you tell me anything and everything you know about Kane and what he's doing, we'll arrest him and your brother Trace could take the stand. Now, this will work because Kane will be locked up and Trace and Braden will be protected. But Braden is listening to it and he's kind of iffy on it. He does take her card, though. And the reason we're looking at this and her giving him the card in the trailer for episode 10, the finale, we see Braden coming into the courtroom. Do I think he's going to be the one to tell on Tariq? No, I think he may blame it all on Kane since he's in jail. But then again, that would still be bad because the Tejadas are on the loose. I can only imagine how much stress is on Braden right now. He just had a DA come and tell him, you need to snitch on Kane to protect your brother so he can testify. At the same time, Kane is after him telling him, you need to kill Lauren or I'm going to come after you. We know Braden doesn't want to do this. He already told Effie he doesn't want to become somebody 
that he didn't expect himself to be. So he does pick up Lauren and we know he takes her out in the woods. He doesn't kill her because he has a conscience. This kind of makes me believe when it comes to the finale, when he comes in there and takes the stand, he's not going to tell on Tariq. He may mention something to Cain to get him off the street and that will protect him and his brother Trace for the time being. But overall, I don't see Braden actually going on the stand and telling on Tariq for anything. They had their disagreement about the picture. But at the same time, you don't want to lock up your friend. All right, there we go. The Weston family is divided. Let me know what you think about Trace and Brayden. Which one of them are more likely to go take the stand? You already know, I think Trace might be the one to go up there and snitch because he can tie Tariq and Kane in together. Brayden has already told her, I don't know Kane. I met him that one time. And also him and Tariq, they're like brothers. So I can't see Brayden actually taking the stand and telling on anything that him and Tariq is doing even if he does have immunity. But let me know what you guys think. I'm ModiJ. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.